Well, now I'm live. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. I'm Ani, creator and inventor of the Jewel Tool Amazing Polishing, Grinding, Everything Machine. Um, on today's show, you guys, I want to show you guys how to clean up blobs of solder. I know I've showed this in the past, but this is in a really tight little area. And if you, if you, you know, solder prongs and stuff like that, you know, you've seen this before. So let me show you overhead cam what I'm talking about. You guys see the little blobs we got right here? So we have two blobs that I want to sand down and I'm going to show you two different ways to remedy them. You guys see that? We'll just go ahead and also clean up the sides. Oh, we have, what the hell? Here it is. Oh, sorry. Wait, how long did that show that? Oh, okay. Let me show you. Let me show you guys what's happening. Okay. Well, back back to my little picture here. So, so do you guys see the little blobs that we have right there and right there, and clean up that whole side, right there. Take care of that on today's show. So I'm going to show you guys how to take care of these. So I'm going to first show. Um, how to use the chubby scrubbies, I mean that chubby, chubby scratch erasers, my uh, language will come. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to do that with this. I'm going to show you guys how to clean up the sides all the way into hard to reach areas inside here. Whatever we can accomplish, you guys, I will show you. And I'll show you how you can navigate using your large four inch wheels. You guys think that you guys can't navigate into small, hard to reach areas with the large ones. Well, you know, I'm all here. I'm here about teaching you guys stuff. So get it. put your buckle up, guys. It's going to be a fun ride. It's going to be quick. I'll tell you why it's going to be quick because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. I've been working so hard, you guys. I need to eat. Anyways, so <laughs> I do. I've lost so much weight too. I really need to eat. I lost 10 pounds. Did you guys know that? I have lost 10 pounds. I didn't mean to, but with the stress of my mom and everything, kind of went away. Okay, so I'm going to get started. So, oh, we got a good amount of people watching. Hi, Deborah Merrimay. Hi, Terry Snyder and Karen Mill Anderson. And we have some more people watching. Um, I say hello to you guys all. So, I'm going to get started. Okay, so. I'll take care of one of the blobs and I'll show you guys another hack. Okay. So, you know, you guys, yesterday I was showing you guys the little uh, chubby uh, scratch erasers. And then this is the skinny. You guys see the difference? Now, they're going to have a little protrusion of these mandrels. You see that? So, if you guys have a little protrusion, you guys, you can grind those down, no problem. And this is how you guys would do it. You can either snap it off with a cutter, you know, cut it, cut it off, you know, with your diamond um, discs that I sell here. You can cut them down. You can grind them if you have the, if you have the Regal Light. These are excellent. The Regal, the Regal abrasives. I'll show you guys real quick how to grind those down. Watch this. So here we go. So here we go. This is the 80 grit. It also comes in a, it also comes in a 36 grit, which is maybe I might use. I'm not certain, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. Hi, Patty. Hello, Mary Fugate. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Oh, my Linda. There we go, flush. And that's so cool, you guys. Right there, done. So you guys can do this to a lot of them, kind of get it really nice and flush. There you go. You don't want them to show. There you go. Just make sure you don't touch them. Okay, so then we did that. Let me get a coarse one too. I want to get rid of the coarse. It's all from the cotton from yesterday's show. Hey, you know you guys apparently loved yesterday's show. I got I received so many messages, you guys, on yesterday's show on you guys liking the hacks. I'm so happy you guys like the hacks. 
There we go. There's another one down. There you go. Okay, we're done. I was going to do that before the show. And I said, well, why am I going to show you guys something that could help you? So I'll do everything on this show. Like, I won't, like, do something and then go, look. And mine looks like this. No, I will always show you how I got to that because all of these shows are about learning and understanding my techniques and how to get it done. And I just want to show you guys how to clean up stuff. This is, I feel like I was on Instagram in the morning and everyone is showing tips on just making, 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 soldering this, soldering that, soldering this, this, that, whatever. But you know, all of this stuff that everyone's doing has to be finished. If not, it looks horrible if it's not properly finished. So I know finishing is not everyone's happy but I received the most sweetest message yesterday. And I, I, I swear I will share, share it with you guys. Um, a lovely woman sent me a message yesterday saying, thank you, Ani, for showing me how to finish. She says, I was horrible before. I hated polishing, but now that I have the jewel tool and your instruction, I love it. And she says, I am a master cabber now. I never was a cabber. She goes, and I, I found it to be so sweet. So the empowerment that you guys are, I guess, are feeling like brings joy to my soul. And that is what this whole jewel tool, like, idea that I wanted to bring forth. That was the reason behind it. I really wanted you guys to be able to finish like queens that you are and kings too. We've got some kings out there. So just note my mindset. Um, you still have wedding nails. Yes, ma'am. I have wedding nails. I have wedding toes. I still have wedding brain. <laughs> Everyone's laughing. Uh, photographers are still sending me pictures. So that's why I haven't posted yet, you guys. I've got really gorgeous pictures to share with you guys. So stay tuned for some really crazy stuff. You guys had no idea we did at the wedding. Um, Linda Gerhard, this is true. Jewel Tool made me a bezel queen. Yes, it did, Linda. You know, and look at that. It just gives me goosebumps, you guys. You. You know, you guys can say whatever you want about me. People who don't know me, like, yeah, stop zooming in. It's true, I did goosebumps. Um, I do, I have goosebumps. Um, you guys, it just makes my, I know Yara can't get it. Trust and believe I do have goosebumps. If he, if that was, if I didn't, Yara would not zoom in. Um, it just, you understand you guys. I just want you guys to know, you know, let's be real real quick. I'll show you guys how to remove those lumps. It's gonna be take really quick. I. You know, I've been, for the past four months, clearly I haven't been on the lives. I haven't been really giving attention to Jewel Tool because I've been giving all my attention to my mom, the funeral, the wedding. It's just been a lot, you guys, like a lot. I lost 10 pounds. It's been a lot. And, you know, sales of Jewel Tool haven't been the greatest because I haven't been promoting and doing things. And, you know, all of those things that I'm used to doing, not. So, I really should be working and doing things so that, you know, I bring in more revenue. But I can't stop doing the lives, you guys. I just enjoy me reaching out to you guys and helping you. So I'm really working double duty to get, get you know, meet, get ends meet, I basically put my business back together again. And I'm spending time on other, you know, things that I'm working on too outside of Jewel Tool to bring in revenue. So it's been a lot. <laughs> been a lot so for me to stand here and teach you guys if you guys knew the backstory of what I'm going through you guys would be like what are you doing honey on the live and people who know me actually have told me that stop you you're you know you're burning you know both ends of the candlestick but I'm here and I love you and whatever I show you guys is always from my heart so let's get let's get ready to get rid of those lumps of solder <laughs> so here we go Soldering boo-boos, yeah, it is. It's soldering boo-boo, lumps and bumps. So anyways, so we got rid of those. So now what I want to show you guys is, with, since I know a lot of you guys have the chubby, uh, the chubby uh, scrubbies, I mean, God, I kind of keep saying that, my brain, the chubby scratch erasers. Yes. Sorry, Yaro, I know, my brain. So I'm going to go, huh? Control your brain. 
I'm going to control my brain. I'm going to control it. I'm going to control it right now and put you in there. Let's get this party started. And I'm going to, oops, get myself off of do not disturb. There we go. Yeah, you record. So basically, I'm going to get rid of these blobs. You can see the blobs right here, this blob, this blob, and then we're going to clean up all that hard to reach area. So now with this, you guys, you can actually use the bottom of it, or you can use the top or the side. Hold on. It would be helpful if I twisted this and did this properly. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and get rid of some of the blobs. Ready? And let's get, let's get this one done. So you can actually hold it right here and get rid of it. You can hold it on its side, you guys. But this is kind of cool because you're holding it down and it gets into that. What, y'all? Yeah? It's fine, y'all. Yeah, it's fine. I know. Actually, I pushed it down and I forgot. So there we go. There we go. And there, that's pretty much it. I don't want to do too much. So remember, since this is a back plate, I don't recommend using sandpaper at all. At all, you guys, at all. There we go. We're good to go. Do you guys see how nice and smooth that came out? Ooh, look at that. You guys see that? Okay. So now I could do this one, okay? I could, and it'll come out really, really pretty. So I'm not going to go perfect, perfect on this too much, you guys, because I'm going to hit it with the, with the fine. This is the course, okay? So I'm going to go with the fine and smooth that down. So you never want to be too, too perfect when you're at the course stage. Okay, let me get the fine. This is the fine. The fine, people, the fine. Here we go. I know. The language as I speak. Why is this one wobbly? Hold on, this is wobbly. Let me put that on tighter. There we go. What did Vicky say? Oh, honey, that wonderful spirit you have oh, is what made me get a jewel tool. You are a wonderful person. I love you, Vicky. You are also a wonderful person. You know, don't let that slip by either. Thank you so much for saying that. It's been a roller coaster in my life, you guys. So you don't understand. When you guys say these things, it just melts my heart. Don't make me cry. Okay, stop. Don Juan, Don Juan, Prince. My mother would be lost if she was not working when stressed. It drives her. This is true, you guys. It really drives me. You know, there is, it really does. But I, I, am, I have to work a lot, you guys. I got to really get back in the, the groove of things. So thank you guys so much for always supporting me and telling everyone about the Jewel Tool. You guys are my rock stars. Nicole, that would be, t uh, that would be me telling her to chill out. And she has told me. Yep. Yeah. She, here she is as a rock star. My motivation to keep going in my own life. Oh, Nicole, stop, I got more goosebumps. You know what, you guys, we are a community. We all have our ups and downs, and if we're here for one another and inspire one another, that's all life is about, you guys, you know? I really had totally looked at, look at life totally different after my mom's passing, and you know, things are not worth it. Love, helping one another. That's what it's all about, you guys. And, you know, like I said, say what you want about me, <laughs> but this is me. And I love you guys for loving me back. So we're back to the, the, the fine. Thank you. So now you can also do it like this too, you guys. Don't get me wrong. You can do it like this and it'll work beautifully. Okay. That too. Don't get me wrong. You guys can do whatever you want, whatever. But look how nice this is. Ugh. When you don't, I just rest my hand right here, and, I'm, and it's beautiful. Now, if you want, you can also do this too. Don't get me wrong. I don't want you guys to think that that's not how you do things. You can do things beautifully and just get rid of all those scratches. And you guys see how it's, like, seamless. Do you know what I mean? It's like there's, like... Like, I'm not creating a groove. Does that make sense? Like, I'm not creating grooves. Because if you were to use sandpaper, that's the, that's the end of it. That's the end of the rule. So I, you can see, you, we did perfect with the chubby scrubbies. These were perfect. I chose the scrub, the chubbies, because they are wider, you guys. 
they're wider than the I went, they're wider than the skinnies. I love both of them. They have yesterday you saw me use them and they have different uses. So this is the skinnies and this is the chubby scratch erasers. Now I'm gonna take this off, okay, and I'm using the Save Your Hands kit with it. Because yesterday people didn't know what the Save Your Hands was. It's awesome. It just goes right on your spindle and you're done. You can even twist wire with it. I found this, we got who remembers when we twisted wire? Do you guys remember twisting wire uh, with this? So basically all you do is just put wire in here. It holds it in and then you just turn the jewel tool on slow. I don't know, should I do it? I gotta find wire. I'll show it to you if you guys, who wants to see wire twisting? And we made this on the show, that was fun. I just saw this came. Anyways, let's keep going. So I wanna show you guys how you're gonna use, like look you guys, this is the three inch and that's the four inch, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how, I actually have the soft fine on here because I kinda wanted to get into the hard to reach area. So what I wanna show you is, even with the, even with the, what's it called, the large disc, you can still get into hard to reach areas, okay? So even though this looks like a really, and I kept this one on purpose, this really tight one, I left this one on purpose uh, to show you guys, look at how you can really get into a hard to reach area. So right here. Can you get that, Yarrow? Is it okay? So right there. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on about medium speed, medium high speed, and you're gonna hold it like right here, you guys. You guys see that? Hold it there. Okay, so do you guys see how it's working? I haven't gotten all of it yet. I just want to show you guys how it clears it. And again, no grooves, no grooves like sandpaper. This is why people love them. So if you just hold it there, I can't see. Uh, it's fine as long as my as long as my hair is not covering it. You see, and you just blend the metal away. You guys see that? Are you guys seeing this? Like that is miracle. That's a miracle. This is a full on miracle. And you can just bring that all together. I'm gonna go in deeper here. And that's all it takes, look at that, look. And there we go. Let me clean that up so that it looks pretty on your side. There you go. You guys see that? Does that does that make sense? Look at that. You guys see that? Okay. So the blobs are gone. And if you ever want to smooth that sharp edge. And if you ever want to smooth that sharp edge right there, just smooth it down. You just go like this and just, just smooth it down so it blends, so it's not as sharp. Look at that, nice and smooth. There too, and here too. That's already smooth. There you go. You guys, did you guys see that? What did you guys think of that? What did you guys think of that? Oh. For yes, twist wire if you have time. Okay, as soon as Yara finds my wire, I twist it. It literally takes 30 seconds by the time we do it. Uh, I always use it for twisting. Nice, you use it for twisting. I know Heidi also told me she uses it for twisting. Linda, Linda says, we are a community. I have found so many new and talented people and follow some folks on Instagram too. It's just lovely. Oh, thanks so much. Scratch erasers are my favorite helpers. I swear. I don't know where, I, I really wish I had scratch erasers when I was on the bench. Like the amount of silicone 
that is in my lungs and that I've eaten because, because rubber wheels in silicone, they disintegrate and they just, like you eat it. I just want you to know on a flight shaft, like I've, I've inhaled all that remnants because they disintegrate, you know? And so these, but they always create grooves, you know? The scratch erasers are your friend. They're gonna make you look like the queens and kings you were designed to be. That, yeah, I know, right? I don't know, makeup made to be. Those those blobs are gone so quick, smooth too. Who are you? I can't see your name, Facebook user. <laughs> I know it's someone I know. Sweet, that is what the scratch eraser is made for. Yes, that's right, Karen Miller Anderson. Okay, so you guys, let's go ahead and address the sides. Now, there's a few ways I can clean the sides up, you guys. Um, I can even use the mini scrubbies for this. And it's a less expensive alternative than using the brushes, but you can use the brushes. So the two inch brushes would be ideal in this scenario. And I've gone ahead and reduced the width of this one. Usually they're a four ply and I don't recommend the two inch to be anything more than a four ply because the reason for these two inches are to get into hard to reach areas. And so when you stack them to be really, really thick, like if they stack them to be thick, it defeats the purpose of them getting into hard to reach areas. If anything, you need to edit. So you would uh, remove these and you would make them like, this is only a two ply. So that would be, that would be one solution. Or like I said, a less expensive version because everyone's looking for a less expensive version these days are the mini, the, here they are. The mini, mini scrubbies. So the mini scrubbies would be perfect for this, you guys. The mini ones, because I can get, believe it or not, the very fine one will conform. Do you guys see how it kind of gets in there? You guys see that, how I can shove it in there and clean up? So, and these are inexpensive and will last long. So this is another alternative too, if you want, if you're, especially if you're going for that satin finish kind of look too. So let me show you guys how these look. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Oh, let me get rid of that thing. Oh, this one just, this one just falls out. This thing was the mandrels. Okay, so now we're gonna put, oh shoot, I bent this. Oh, this is a bent one. This came from the show. I remember someone stepped on this. Yeah, I need another one. Yeah, I need a very fine uh, mounted. Anyone, anybody? Or just another spindle. Hold on, let me just get rid of the mandrel. The mandrel took a poops. Hold on, give me a second, guys. I'll just switch this out. I will switch this bad boy out. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna put another one on. Yeah, I remember taking this trade show and it fell and someone stepped on it. And I was like, okay, never mind. <laughs> never the mind. Just make sure it's nice and tight. Hopefully it's good, it's good enough. We'll find out. I love how I do things like on the live show. Eh, we'll see what happens. What's the worst that can happen, guys? Come on. It's just cleaning up jewelry. It's not rocket science. No one's gonna get hurt in the process. So what we wanna do is we wanna squish in here. Yo, can I do a side thing? I'm gonna actually show that with my camera too. There we go. You got it? Okay, perfect. So look, you guys, remember you have the jewel tool, it'll conform. Now, if you slow it down, it'll conform even more. So we've already gone to this stage. Do you guys see that? Already I got in there. Now, if I want a little bit more squishiness in there, slow the speed down, slow the speed down, and you're gonna see how it becomes even more squishy. You guys see how, it's, uh, how it pinched? How it got really, really small? So that will, that tells me it's gonna conform way better and it did. You guys see that? Can you guys see that, how it got in there? Crazy, huh? 
Now, if you didn't want to use, so that was, this is the very fine I use. The very fine is going to be, the very fine is going to be, uh, what's it called? Is going to be the, like, the more softest one, I would say. And I would say that you can also use this. So if you wanted to use this, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to use that heavier one because we pretty much got it out. I just don't want to create more like scratches. So I might use, I might use the blue one. Okay. Hold on. Let me use the blue one. Let me use the blue one. Okay, let's use the blue one just to kind of get in there a little bit. So if you didn't want to use that, this is another alternative, you guys, to get in there too. You guys see that? That's another, and this is finer. It's all gonna give you more of a sheen. You guys see that? There you go. So that's that. Okay, and if you wanted to polish this, you guys, you can follow the steps, like you can polish it with the, the peach, or you guys can definitely use my favorite is these, these are really nice, you guys. These are called my really, they're, they're, they're the buffs that are really, really skinny and last a long time. So it's very similar. It's the two inch size of the brush. Just to give you guys an idea, this is a three inch brush. To give you an idea and look how thin they are. You know what I mean? So this is gonna give you a really nice quick polish, you guys. Let's, I'll go ahead and turn that on, okay? So I'll go ahead and put some of the scratch away. This is scratch away compound. Just hold it there a little, kind of round it over because you want to get in there. And so you just want to hold it in like, just like so. Yes, they're the precision thin one. Hold on. There you go. Look at that. Perfection. You guys see that? Hold on. Let me try to show the glimpse. You guys see how quick it polished that? Like effortless. So you can, like, listen, if there, if you couldn't get into this area, then with the, with this buff, then the brushes would definitely come into play, you guys. But, you know, these are a little pricey. This is not as pricey. If you want to get the job done, you do that. And the story, isn't that cool? Jeez, that was like really nice. So, yeah. And then you can continue with the rest. I wouldn't continue with this. I would probably continue with like my felt, like the, the see-through felt real quick, you guys. Oops, shoot. Let me, oops, sorry, I'm knocking everything down just to get a shot. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm gonna use the Scratch Away Compound too. The Scratch Away, in the, look, since I'm gonna be using the edge more, you guys see where I apply the compound? And so we're gonna go ahead and polish here. Just hold it there, don't push hard. Just let it glide over, let it get going. And there we go. Now, if you guys are not a fan of, oh wow, that came out really good. If you guys are not a fan of, I hate that clanking noise. If you're not a fan of the like cotton buffs, wow, dear Lord have mercy. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? I, I barely did anything. Come on guys, barely did anything. Now, if you guys are not a fan of cotton buffs, let's say they scare you, another option would be my pink magic buffs because this won't catch. Do you guys see how this will get into things without catching? Like it'll get in there. Like, you don't have to worry. Like, if you really want to polish with this. Hi, Leslie Witt. Hi, my Bonnie, my happy. So, you guys, I actually had two blobs of solder 
in this area where the prongs were. And I wanted to show you guys how to get into the nooks and crannies and polish that all out. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Actually, well, let me do an after shot. Hold on. Hold on. Let me do an after shot. Yarrow, this is, I need help with an after shot. Take one second. Okay, it's okay. I, I did it myself. Okay, there. Okay, so now we do it again. And we're gonna get the pink magic buff run. So the pink magic buff, you guys, you can hold it like this. You can hold it like this. Now, can you do a side cam so them them can see? Okay, sorry. Hold on. Then let me hold it. I don't know which way to do it for the camera. But do you guys see how it doesn't catch? My six o'clock. Okay, but I was in the way. Okay, I'm standing. I, you don't have to be. On here oh wow look at that you guys Woohoo! that was it yara but should i keep going yara wants to get the shot i'll just keep polishing so there's a few different ways to accomplish all of this you guys do you know what i mean so look at that like and then i, I can polish this we actually showed that yesterday so that's why i didn't feel like doing that today but you get the idea if you missed yesterday's show I actually polished this inside right here, and I showed you guys how to get it nice and polished. Uh, if you so, if you want to see that, watch yesterday's show. Okay, we're trying to do new things on every day on those shows. You guys see that? There you go. Okay, let me let me see what y'all have to say. Bonnie, it's gleaming. Okay, I got you, Linda. Okay, what, what happened? Uh, hi, Leslie Witt. Pink buffs are amazing, even the little flapper pinkies. Oh yeah, that little flapper pinky, you guys, that's this one that Melanie's talking about. So basically, the flaps in here are the same flaps that they put on these. And these are 3M scotch Bright material that's in here that they, it's called a, a special cut and polish uh, scotch right that's inside these. You guys, they're just delicious. I love them. Um, and I only have, uh, those are from Japan. Anything from Japan, I'm going to have a hard time getting a hold of. So I, I won't, they pretty much told me I won't see them until next year. <laughs> just saying that. I know, you're always like crying. I know, let's all cry. <laughs> I'm my crying emoji. Okay, so. That was how to get, did you guys understand all that? Was that helpful? I'm going to do, I'm going to twist wire now. Love the pink flaps. I love them too. Okay, super brief recap. Real quick, y'all wants me to do a recap. Okay, so to remove this blob over here, I used the coarse chubby scratch eraser, and I used the, the fine chubby scratch eraser right here. Okay. And I showed you guys can do that. And then I used the soft, fine scratch eraser in the four inch to get into that really, really tough blob spot right here. And I was, I was actually very successful in doing so. Then I used the very fine 3M uh, chubby scrubby, the little scrubbies. The little mini scrubbies, I'm sorry. The mini scrubbies and very fine because it's softer and it gets into hard to reach areas. And that was a single layer. And then I used the, I, I showed you guys that you can use the two inch brushes like so to get into the hard to reach areas. And then I polished with our precision um, cotton buff and I used the scratch away compound to accomplish the high polish. That was beautiful. But I also said that you can follow the steps of the brushes to get that high polish as well. So you would follow after the blue would be the peach and then the green. And then if the, and then to finish the rest, I used the jewel tool felt wheel with the scratch away compound again to polish the rest. And for the final gleaming shine, I used the pink magic buff. That was a good recap. Was, did I forget anything? I did great. Thank you, Yarrow. Really get a thank you. Good job, Ani. Okay, so let me twist some wire. 
All right, so I'm going to use this, this, um, the side position. Okay, so I'm going to use the side position while I do that. Let me cut some wire. Wire? Wire, fire. Let's do this. Let's cut some wire. That wire is so good, you guys. I love wire. I, I mean, wire holds things. Wire binds things. Wire holds tiny little things. You have a song for me, yeah. Yaro? Is it, is it like, you know that song, Fire? Yeah. Da -na -na -na. Fire? But I'm like, Wire? Da -na 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 -na. Wire? That's what we should do. We should change all the songs to jewelry related. You know, Wire? I use Wire. You know, I am the goddess of Wire and I bring you Wire. Okay, still laughing over there. Okay, let me get my. Is that called the crazy world of Artagram? Okay, well, whatever. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Hello, Michelle Chapman. She says, happy, happy Thursday. Yes, welcome to crazy land over here. Welcome to fun land. This is where you can be yourself land. Wow, this is a long piece of wire I just cut. Okay, here we go. Oh, you can bend it. I didn't bend it. Oops. Well, here, you know what? I'll do a shorter one. How about that? Wire, da -na -na. I can't stop you guys. Know, it's, addictive. it's addictive. Okay, here, you know what? I'll just do this. So you can grab your wire and you can bend it. So there we go. Oh, Linda. Thank you. <laughs> My crazy songs. They come and go, you know, when I feel it. You know, sometimes you just got to feel it. And you know, if you have wire that looks like this, that's not good. So you know what I used to do as a kid? This is what I used to do as a kid to remedy it. Yaro, can you get a shot of my bench? Oh yeah, you can get a shot real quick here. Hold on. Oh, you got it? Well, yeah. I'm just gonna use my bench pin. Okay. Here, that's good. There we go. So I used to leave. I used to leave. Like I used to size a lot. Do you guys see this bench pin? So since I used to size rings a lot. You guys see there's all these lines. Can they see that? No, they can't see it on that end. So I used to have a lot of, these are all from the saw blade. Look, you guys see my, so what we would do is when you would size a ring, you would basically put it right here and you would start to saw it, but you wouldn't saw straight. You never start saw straight. You always saw at an angle like this. And you hit create the groove, and then you continue. I've always Ooh, told. Works, yeah. Did you guys uh, did you guys know that this is how you should size a ring? Here, let's size a ring together. Oh, the joys of sizing a ring! I think I've sized like maybe five thousand rings in my lifetime. Let's cut something that's ugly. Oh, I have a lot of ugly stuff apparently. Let's choose something that I have a lot of. Here, this is really ugly. You're going down, buddy. Okay, so when you're going to, when you're going to size something, you guys, or when you're gonna, oh, that would have been a good with phone. Okay, cool. So you guys, uh, oh, and I'm gonna show you guys. So, okay, I gotta tell you guys something real quick. So where's, I? I'm gonna show you guys something new I'm developing. I'm developing something that, I used to use while I don't have it. So when you're going to size, you guys, so you never start off straight. This is straight. So you always have to start off like at an angle. Do you guys see this? So you start off at an angle, go like you go up and then go down. And then once you get it going, keep going. You guys see that? And then so you guys can move up and then now you guys have serious leverage and you hold it and you keep going so you know you guys yes it has to do a lot with your little you know um what do you call your lubrication but it also is technique i really have a good lubrication that my dad actually would put together and i don't know why i haven't shared it with you Lori has actually 
convinced me to share it with you guys so i might so that that's the story there you go. my blade is a little dead you guys so be nice to me but that's the that's the idea see look even with a dead blade i didn't snap it you guys really so it snaps yes everyone has you know everyone will snap it but it'll snap if you if you uh, are not moving the secret to a good saw blade is position and keep a little to, to sawing yeah i would say to sawing is to keep it moving movement is key now what i wanted to show you is you know so i have a group right so i would just take my wire and i would go like this up against it so i'd create like i would already have grooves done you just go back and forth and just this is my little rolling my little rolling pin and i would do this as a kid but it's nice because it would hold it in place and you just would do that you guys know the drill there you go nice and straight there you go what, what camera am i at i don't even know yeah so we're going to twist it so it doesn't matter how perfect it is but you get the idea right Hold on. Now I'm going to do both of them at the same time. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to do both of them at the same time so they're both together forever. And that's, that's, perfect. that's perfect with what I want. There you go. All right. So, where did my save your hands go? Oh, save your hands. Here it is. So, I'm going to remove the one that we were using. And I'm going to put the save your hands here. Let's do that. Where am I? You like the rig? Okay, so there. This is moving. Okay. It's a lot of junk in the background. I'm sorry, Yarrow. If you do it at an angle, it won't. So all you have to do, you guys, is you know the drill. Just get it nice and connected right there. That's all you need to do right there. You guys see that? Do it on the black background for the camera. Right here. All I did is I pinched it. You guys know this. You guys all know this. It's all good in the hood yep. okay cool all right oh my goodness i keep forgetting to show you guys you guys i have the most nicest tweezers on web on the website that lock in if you want anything to hold it with a lock these are so good and so durable you guys they're swiss made and i love them i just want you guys to know i never show them but i since they're my favorite i have them on my website just so you know so you know i do have them on my website okay so we're gonna go back to this to yeah you can find them so you're just gonna tighten it hold on let me put that right there here can you help me i'm trying not to i can do it but yeah just hold it for me perfect because i can't if not i'll block the camera i think i got it in did i get it in all the way Oh well, you get the idea. All right, here we go. Twisty time. You know, can you record on this phone because it keeps moving? Yeah, that's a good position. Don't show the crap in the background. Let's get rid of the crap in the background. Okay, and then so you're just going to hold it at the end. Whatever plier you want. It could be a nice wide one. I don't have a wide one, you guys. I don't have one at all. Hold it and let me follow with the camera to show how you're holding it. Okay. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you. Oh, you're just taking the mail. Okay, there you go. So there you go. We're going to hold it. And we're going to turn it like slow. Ready? Here, can you turn it on so I can hold my right hand? Sure. Okay, because I got to hold it. Mm -hmm. Just So you're going to do it slow. Okay, ready? And go. Go ahead. Going? Yeah, I'm not holding it actually. Sorry, stop. Sorry, I lost control. Sorry. Okay, who cares? Do it again. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just go ahead. <laughs> you get the idea. Keep it going. Wow. Okay, stop. So you can adjust it how. But yo, you're not recording this one. Look, it's beautiful. Can you see that? Yes, I saw it. Can you just, well, as I remove it, can you okay, give me an after hand. shot? Hang on. Okay, there you go. Stop. Okay. That was beautiful the way I recorded that. Okay. 
No, I want to show how long it is. That I can't show. There you go. All the way and then back, 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 no, back. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And you can, what's nice is you guys, you can adjust like how tight you want it. But look at that. Look at that. It's like sitting straight up. Like look at that. Actually, I'm going to record that. It's like so tight and so perfect that it is like this. Look how it's just standing straight up. That's so nice. Shut up. Don't make fun of my bench. This is the best bench ever. Okay, there. So let me that's show you guys. So that's how you guys can do it with the save your hands. See? Like I'm going to leave it on the save your hands. And look how straight it goes. Like. Yes, the parallel pliers. I know that's what I was looking for. I don't know where they were. God knows where they are. Have you not seen this bench? Yeah, parallel pliers are perfect for holding these. I didn't have them, but guess what? It even loosened and everything. I, everything that could go wrong with this did, and look, I still ended up with a perfect twisted wire. You guys want to see it up close? Yeah, do overhead shot. Let's show you guys. You guys see that? Look at that. Woo. Super straight. Look at that. Woo! What, 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 what? Yeah, so twisted wire. What I like is with the jewel tool, you can stop and go, huh, is that as tight as I want it? Maybe a little tighter. Click back on. You know what I mean? It's so easy to control. Speaking of everybody, that's the little one calling. I'm doing a live, mommy. I'm sorry. Is it important? Huh? Bye. She said bye. You know. Yes. Yes. Why did I not think? Yeah. Why, Leslie? I've done this on the show. Even uh, Heidi uh, Mandich even posted doing this too on the Jolto community. She actually showed it to her class. So this is like the if you have a jewel tool things are so much easier like I try to use the tools to help me so I don't struggle you know what I mean this is so cool you guys look at that yes nice and hardened yes now nice Nicole now I can go and use this and whip people into shape let's see who's gonna be my first one so you guys so I use the save your hands for those who don't know what this is this is amazing this is a great great investment you guys huge nice investment designed to fit on the jewel tool. I have this custom made to fit on the jewel tool. Uh, you're welcome, you guys. Yes, 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 Bonnie. I have size two. Hold on, wait, I even see Bonnie's comment. Bonnie, Bonnie. Uh, can you click on her comment? Because I want to read it. Uh, I have size two, hated it. They both had stones. So scary. If no stones, though, might easier. Fix some of my own mid-sized creations. I annealed them first before cutting. Yes. Yes. So, Bonnie, listen. The secret with uh, soldering stones. Oh, let me tell you guys this. You guys want to see my secrets on soldering um, stuff with stones and stuff? This Saturday, I'm going to go live with Lori Union and Lori's um, studio. So Lori now lives in the Cal like closer to me and in California. And uh, I've been wanting to just, once all this mayhem in my life is over, I just wanted to go and play in her studio. You know when you just want to just create and just let it flow and have fun? That's what I'm going to do on Saturday. We don't have anything planned, but I'm going to make stuff. And I, while I'm making it, I will show you guys my soldering techniques, and Lori will also share hers. So on this Saturday, I don't know the time yet. I'll let you guys know, but I'll be filming live from Lori's studio. And if you don't know who Lori is, she's Lori Union, and she teaches. She's incredible and has the patience of a god, I'm telling you. So I will be uh, filming from there. And so if you get, uh, what did your dad use to lubricate your saw blade? So, Don, my dad created his own little lube. <laughs> and it didn't dawn on me until 
Lori goes, why don't you market that? And I was like, is it that big of a problem that people have? I didn't really think it was an issue. I'll be honest with you guys. And Lori's like, yes, people struggle all the time. And I'm not going to say anything bad about any product out there, except that I don't like them. I, I, I personally am, am not a fan. I like things to be easy, quick, and not a gimmick, especially in that kind of thing. I, I just know what the jewelers would use. And so it's a secret. I just want you guys to know jewelers don't tell you, especially like fine jewelers are, they're very mean and they like to keep things very secretive. That's why I get really in trouble. They get really upset at me sometimes, you guys, for me exposing certain techniques. Like the mass magician, yeah, like no one wants to expose the secrets. And so I never even thought of it, but I'm really thinking of putting it to the market, you guys. My dad's uh, formulation, it's amazing and it's inexpensive and it lasts a long time forever. So stay tuned. If you guys are interested, I'll definitely put it in production. My, my dad's still around. He can make it and he'll, <laughs> he'll help me with it. Yes, you can. Yeah. Hi, Susan. Is that Susan? That's my girl, Susan. How are you doing, Susan? Susan, yes, you can. You can do all of that. And I've actually thought of automating the process of creating those jump rings. Yeah, you can put a mandrel in there and create the jump rings. That's so smart. Yeah, so I actually have, give me a second, one second. Oh, where's that box, Yaro, of my mandrels? Okay, this is what I'll do, Susan. On another show, I'll do them because I have a whole I have a whole set of those, and I'll do I'll show you guys my techniques on making jump rings and how I cut them. Is that it? Oh, you know, you guys, there's a product. No, I'll show right now because I won't allocate a show. You guys, don't hang up. Uh, please tag me. Okay, I will, Susan. You're so cute. I love all the tips you share. Actually, I have one item, you guys that I was going to, um, I was going to keep because I love it myself, but I can't get any more. And so I was like on the fence of should I even sell this or not. I only have seven of these items, you guys, and I, I didn't think it was worthy of putting it on the website. But let me show you guys. Yeah. So you guys, this is, a, this is something that I really like love. It's a little magnifier, okay, and it comes with a USB plug that you can plug ironically behind your jewel tool. Can you do it? So what's cool is it is a double magnifier. You got that little one here too. The 2X. Yeah, there you go. You see that right there? And what's nice is if you are working on something, it has this cool, you guys hear it? Yeah, it transforms and it has a light. So you can set it up like on a table. Should I put it on the table here, Yaro? And you, it has lights. You see the lights? So like, let's say on my messy bench. Hey, listen, this mess here, I'll put it right here. There you go. So you can adjust it. And so it's like a little third hand. If you are like trying to fit something like, oh, this is a good little example. Yeah, and it has, yes, it has multiple different brightnesses. You guys see that, two brightnesses? So let me show it from this angle. Can I show it from that angle? Can you move the camera? There you go. This is something really quick. Okay, so, yeah, it's got a lot of junk. So, like, let's say that I want to um, twist this bale, and I can't see jack squat, and you just go like this, and you can twist it and close it like things that you just need to see it's very illuminated i love it i use it especially my eyes not so great these days and you know like i said it has the light look without the light and that's normal light and then it brightens it up if you need it. but i love it that you can set it up and it's, com it's comfortable if you're sitting and you're like it adjusts to you ergonomically that's all so i just want you guys to know i have seven of these they're brand new and they're 29.99 if anyone wants them, let me know. 
I don't think I'm going to put them on the website, but I love them. And if not, I'm going to give them away as Christmas gifts. So, <laughs> to, to, every, everybody could use this. If you sew and you can't find that damn needle in that little hole in the eye of the needle, they're perfect. I've used it for that. Like, it's such a, like, it's not just for jewelry. It's like so convenient. And if you don't want to use it as, if you don't want to use it, you guys, as a stand like this, you can just hold it and use it as a magnifier. That's what I love. And it's super lightweight. For reading and everything, I have one by my, I have one by my nightstand. Karen Miller wants one, $29.99. So got, you got one, Karen. Oh, yes. So it's also, it also can hold rechargeable batteries. If triple, yeah. If you don't want to use the USB plug, it comes with it. You can use the rechargeable batteries and it becomes, you know, portable. So there you go. Yeah. Oh, Leslie, it's your birthday. Okay, we got one for Karen. We got one for Leslie. Leslie, happy birthday. Oh, I can't wait this Tuesday. We're going to celebrate Leslie Let's birthday this, the, this uh, what's it called, this Tuesday. I'm excited. I love birthdays, you guys. It celebrates the person as an individual. Everyone has a special birthday, and I just love birthdays. So, yeah, so there we go. We got this. So now I only have seven to, I have five left, and these are just amazing. All right, so there you go. If I'm, if you're watching this on the replay and you want one and I still have them left, just comment and one of my staff will see it. Thank you guys so much. I just keep forgetting to show you guys these. And y'all was going to put them on the website. And I knew that if you put them on the website, I know they would sell. I know they would. But I kind of wanted to, like, let you guys see it in person and understand it and kind of get first dibs. Don't forget Terry. Oh, Terry, too. I didn't know. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Okay, so we've got, um, what's it called? We've got only, now we've got four left. Okay, perfect. Okay, we've got Terry, Leslie, and Karen. You got it, you guys. You got it. Yeah, all right, cool. All right, guys, I will see you guys here tomorrow. I'm still hungry, and I got to go eat. But I just wanted to tell you guys, you guys rock my world, and I love seeing you guys here. All right, guys, I wish you a fabulous evening. Um, I will go home and chill. So if you guys chill too, then we'll be chilling together. So I'll be watching something on Netflix. Oh, actually, Kimmy told me about a nice Christmas movie on Disney Plus called Noel. So I'm going to check that out. If you guys are interested, check it out too. Send an instant message Susan to the... Wants Susan wants one too? Got it, Susan. I'll tell oh, you're going to love it, Susan. You can walk around like this. Where did you guys go? Yeah, I love it. Okay, you guys, I love you. You got it. Yes, Nicole says send an instant message to the page or yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, if you guys want one, just send a direct message and we'll get it if we have them left. Yeah. All right, guys, I love you. Watching is nice seeing you all again. Big hugs to from me to you. Love you. Bye bye.